Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to part 2 of the special. Today, well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna be building up the base. As you can see, I changed up the colors a little bit. I experimented with them. I think that dark wood fits these nicely. It contrasts them. This is like concrete red and white, and this is black and yellow, I believe. Could be wrong. Yeah, I think it goes nicely. Just looks a lot better. I wanted these to be a lighter color, but none of them really fit too much. They were either way too bright, or not good enough. Or yeah, way too dark, basically. So we're going with the red. Red is fine. So for this episode, uh, first plan is, hopefully you enjoyed the last episode. I haven't yet released it, of course I haven't. Uh, I'm recording these slightly, a couple of days before they're released. They do need some editing. The last episode took like two hours of editing. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. Uh, first we're gonna build up the glass tiles. As you can see the materials, I have a lot of glass. This is already the, the one that I made up. I have more frostboard here and I have more frostboard here and a bit of glass and there is a harvest of frostboard that is just ready to be picked up and that's a lot of frostboard. So, first plan is build up these, see what color they're gonna be, then we're gonna start building up the um, landing pads. Once those are built, we're actually going to go inside these rooms one by one and decorate them. For that specific reason, I've gotten star silk. And I built some carbon because most do require condensed carbon, but some do require carbon. That's why I have normal cobalt as well. Some do require normal cobalt. But before we do that, though, we should set up storage. Now, I don't want storage to be obvious, so the best idea for storage is probably somewhere in the ground. Like, build a small tunnel that's not going to be really visible. And I'm going to build a beacon exactly where I should build my storage. No, actually, I'm going to have to... Because I'm planning on a bay for the Exocraft this episode. Uh, where the Exocraft? For these, all these are going to have a bay, a very specific bay. It's not going to be up here. There's no way you're going from up here to down there. You know, even if you know they don't take damage, that's still not still not something you want to do, I guess. So I'm going to be building them down there with a bay. It's not going to have a landing pad, it's actually going to be kind of tricky to figure out how you're going to get down there. But if you are down there, you will have access to all the vehicles. And I guess below the vehicles, the storage will be. So I guess that's going to be the final thing we do before the decoration. For now though, I do hope you enjoyed the last episode because this one is going to be basically the same one. So let's begin. So I'm not sure if you've noticed here because of the speed, but a square room, this room, the glass tiles actually go next to it relatively well. There's still going to be a hole here, but let's see if they will fit below the square room. No they do not, in valid position. I was hoping that there wouldn't be any holes, but I suppose I can cover them up with something else. Because this thing has a big hole. If this was a square room, it would have a smaller hole, I guess? It will still have a hole, though. I could just cover it up with something. Put a desk or something there. We will uh, tackle that as soon as we're done with the floor.
Oh, so first I underestimated the amount of uh, glass we were gonna need, and now I apparently underestimated the amount of cobalt we're gonna need. So I need to go back to the place. But you know what? I will actually try and figure out as well a way for this hole to be plugged in, for these holes to be plugged in. Uh, this one I'm just gonna build next to it, but this, these ones here, they're gonna need to be plugged in. Without actually... Can I replace this with a circular room? I mean with a square room. Yeah, I can. The color I'm using, by the way, is wood, and it's black and yellow. And it does look kind of, yeah, I think we might have to replace, replace these circular rooms with these ones. They're the same cost, the difference is that these small, these small holes you cannot fall through. I guess that's one idea. I wanted things to be square, not square, sorry, cylindrical, but I guess they'll have to be squared. So anyway, we will do that, but first I'm actually going to do a... Not a time lapse here, I'm actually going to cut here. And I'll meet you back here when I do have the cobalt, because I'm gonna need to actually do some traveling again, and I don't want that to be like all this episode is. Hello, and we're back. I got some ionized cobalt. That's the last of my ionized cobalt, by the way. So let's first finish the floor, then we're gonna replace everything. I really badly underestimated the amount of frost, we're, uh, the amount of glass we're gonna need, and we're gonna need a lot more of it. Oh well. Yes, we have to wait now. And we're back. So, um, yeah, I farmed the, I farmed more glass, which is hopefully gonna be enough. But if it's not, I actually waited for an extra growth. So they are fully grown back at the mystical inn. I, I did forget to mention at the start of the episode that I did rename. Uh, the base. It's the Eye of the Storm. Actually, uh, at this point, it's called the Eye of the Storm. I know some of you might have noticed. I mean, I did change the. Oh, I did. Uh, that's what the series is gonna be called. This like specific base building episode. I as well changed this to have a corridor. You're probably saying, but why? You, you don't really need one. Yeah, you do. I uh, decided to turn around this. And afterwards something bugged out and I couldn't go through the door. I tried on the other side, couldn't go through the door. Tried turning it back around again, couldn't go through the door. So the only thing I could do was build it here. And I sort of do like the curved corridors. So they have a lot of glass in them. Anyway, it's night time here, but we still do have a lot of building to do. Haven't really done much, I did change the colors on these. You can't really tell at the moment because it's really dark, but the color is, let me see, let me go to structures, small rooms, the color is concrete and it is, I believe this one, pretty sure, I, even I can't tell apart anymore. Anyway, let's uh, finish building up the floor. And the floor has been fully built. As you can see here, I have been testing out some things because I really didn't want just doors right next to each other. I actually wanted like a walkway, but there is no such thing as far as I can tell. I mean, I don't have all the decoration blueprints, but nothing refuses to stick in between these except a wooden wall, which, yeah, you can stick and then you can remove, but then there's a huge gap in between the two launch pads. So I was thinking of going with this. I mean it's better than this, at, at least that's what I think. There's gonna be such six launch pads here and we're gonna be rebuilding and we're gonna be building all the ones to the side so that we need 
three more here and a total of three more so six total launch pads need to be built i also uh, did move the portal here because it cannot stay on the glass tiles on the um, cubids it cannot stay on top of them it just that refuses to it goes down and we don't want to be someone down we want to be someone up here so i guess uh, let's build up all the launch pads Ooh, elbows didn't make ya. Can't believe I fell down there. There's gonna be a lot of falling wall construction still going on, I guess. What do you mean limited to 9 per base? You're kidding me. So I can't have 10. Oh, this is annoying. I have to figure out something else. Alright, now that that's done with. Next step is gonna be actually building all the doors, all the entrances. And uh, what I was planning is actually, I was planning on having a curved one, this one. Somehow, oops, sorry. Uh, you, wrote it, you rotated with R and T. The thing is, uh, I cannot. I cannot rotate it. You know, I can rotate it left and right, but I cannot make it go up. And I was hoping to have a bio biodomes actually on top. So for now, though, we are actually going to add doors, add viewing spheres on this end, and then we'll see how we're going to be adding biodomes.
Alright, so uh, if you notice, I actually ran out of glass again. So I'm gonna need to get some more. And these cars are all wrong. They are supposed to be. Oh, where was it? I think it's this. Yeah, it's that. Blue and white, isn't it? Well, let's change it. I know it's blue, but was it blue and yellow? Or whatever. Afterwards, we're gonna go get some frost work, some frost crystals from my base, and we are going to continue this mission. Alright, so now that the windows are done, that the doors are done, and the viewing spheres are done, I might actually end off the episode here. Uh, primarily because we the, the last episode actually turned out to be kind of long, and so will probably this one. By the looks of things. And we do still have a bunch more work to do. I was really hoping I'd do this in two parts, but it's not gonna happen. We still have biodomes to set up up here. We still have decoration to do. We have storage and exocraft bay to build, a storage and exocraft bay. So that's still gonna take a while. That's gonna take at least one more episode, hopefully one more episode, no more than that. Because as much as I do enjoy this, and I don't want to do it off camera because this is a big part of No Man's Sky. This is not something like farming, even though farming is a really big part of No Man's Sky, especially early on. But yeah, we have different colored ones. I'm just going to pass them all off, off camera again with the color that I like. It's because I removed a couple of them earlier. But yeah, anyway, I guess we'll end up the episode here. Next episode, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be wrapping up the base building. We're going to be doing final decorations and the exo bay, exo craft bay, and afterwards we'll be back to our schedule. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten, I still haven't used the Atlas Pass V3. Hopefully next episode? At the end? We'll see. Anyway, my name has been Rampant Mystic. I hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and this, oh, three-part special by now. Second part of the three-part special, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.